<laughs> hey guys, we'll just have to use this. I'll have to speak up. Um, the quality of video is bad, but it's more about making information available and helping technology uh, sequence, you know, learn, grow, help uh, protect people from people that use technology to do genocidal operations. So this is very important. And I'm sorry the quality is poor, but the quality of the people that are connected to here and that come in from out of here and out and is bad. Okay? So we just have poor quality of just human interaction right now. And that's something that needs to change rapidly. So that's why I'm doing these videos. Um, I, do, I did notice, and I talked to Dad about it today, I've been falling asleep. Before I fall asleep every night, I ask Jesus Christ, you know, anybody who attacks me with Wi-Fi, can we, you know, when I go to sleep, can we flip the script? And apparently when I'm unconscious and I'm sleeping, it's because I'm not attached and actively thinking of the people attacking me and having an open, you know, uh, conscious attachments to it because they're children and things. Um, uh, I, uh, sorry about that. That's something that the computer's doing, the, the, the tab is doing. But I, I, since I'm openly, you know, I have attachments when I'm awake. When I'm asleep, it's just people attacking me and me trying to help people not attack or be attacked. And so, and then I've noticed the dog wake me up. Sorry, guys. The dog wake me up. The, um, some idiot with a motorcycle will come around through and then um, the train will come through real loud. So apparently I, I do better work at night when I'm asleep helping the technology um, isolate, contain, and exterminate people that are still invested and involved and addicted to um, genocidal operations. And because the, the, there's a lot of things that are very, uh, yeah, I can fall asleep and wake up in an hour and have, you know, be dreaming right in the middle of a dream, you know, in complete REM sleep, with, you know, within an hour. And so I'm sleeping and I'm dreaming instantaneously. And that's not something that is consistent with a lot of, uh, study that's been done on dreaming before the advent of the cell phone tower and satellite surveillance and the you know and the Wi-Fi so the Wi-Fi is definitely causing problems uh, with human beings it's something that needs to be uh, it needs to be we just basically need we, we we need you can have wires and phones and things and we the technology you know it can work as easy if we plug this into a wall and plug it into a computer that has a wire and it can go that way as opposed to doing it through signals that invade people's thought processes and can be used to manipulate people. So it's better to be plugged into the wall than, than it is to use the Wi-Fi to make us like controlled by Wi-Fi or better with connects and things like that. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a very bad problem. It's something we're working with. I'm using this so I can load this faster. I know the quality is bad, but you guys can hear it. And um, uh, because uh, on the phone it uses up too much space, and then I can't use the phone if Facebook allows me to do, you know, use the phone. Um, uh, and I can't also on the on the iPad, the tablet, because it affects Dad's storage on his devices, so I can't use that either. Um, uh, same with the other iPhone, and um, the other uh, phone that I bought it takes even more time to load uh, videos off of it as it does off the other phone which takes space so um you're dealing with very dysfunctional sick people in a large group collective and um i'm sorry as a human being for what's happening right now just because i feel sorry for what's happening and how it affects the kids and kids are like mom described golden empty sl you know empty slates to you know whatever we do we are and what we're doing affects our kids yeah this is a relative interactive of acceptance of psychological and biological existence over thousands of years but an innocent child deserves the best of what we can do we have had the information available for thousands of years of how to interact peacefully intelligently and faithfully through faithful relative communications as opposed to uh, conflict of brain manipulations and maneuvering and dysfunctional brain activity that's definitely become a hazard to us as, as human beings and a hazard to other life forms because on the planet because what we do with the Wi-Fi doesn't just affect human beings it affects animals 
and so it's you know it, it affects the dogs and the cats it causes brain damage and it's it's it definitely needs to uh, be controlled by humans and and you know it's okay to be connected and talk to each other but we don't need our devices with us everywhere I go to feel safe you know we we have phones um, you know we can have handheld radios uh, that we have driving around town if we feel we need it for protection like they used to have you know the whammy kablammy the shooting kablooty but the walkie talkie and um, we could have things like that if we feel we absolutely necessarily need those but then the cross signals yeah it does okay but when it crosses signals you can actually you know you're driving to help somebody's out hurting me and then you could get a closer signal from someone that you'd be calling that you know from someone that could actually come and help you right there you know like one out of 12 one out of 12 you know we have a 517 in progress you know so and then people get up on that. We can say, hey, there's, there, there, there are people trained. We'll have people trained in military training to handle these kind of situations with lots of experience within a couple blocks radius because we have so many of them. You know, so, so it'll really work and really help if there's anybody out running up to oh, good in our neighborhoods and stuff. And um, one thing we really need to stop is, you know, that uh, make better, sell better. You, you know, you're not doing anything better if you're not forgiving debt and trespass love. I don't think you're capable of doing that. And passing that on to your children is child abuse, and you need to quit. Okay, guys, I love you. Let's load this one up.